Hey, what's up guys? MGH here, and welcome back to my Bournemouth Road to Glory. Now, in the last episode, it's the Drowny transfer window, and we've been trying to sign some players up on pre-contracts. And we ended up trying to get a right-back called Michel, or Michel, and a goalkeeper from Germany called Weidwald. And they both declined their contracts. So I went in for Weidwald once again, 35,000 per week. It's a bit much. I, I'm a little bit unsure whether to go ahead with the deal. So what I've done is I've done even more research. I've gone through hundreds of players throughout the, the database um, in the game. So literally searching through players to find anyone that's got six months left on their contract and that I can sign for free. And uh, I've got some backup options. So I'm going to show you them right now because we only have 10 hours left uh, to sign anyone that we would like to have. So I'm going to go ahead and show you those backup options. So we have Weidvold there. As you know, I've made an offer for him. We've got a load of goalkeepers. We've got Mikkel Anderson here from Reading. We've got Kushtak. Kush I hate his name. It really frustrates me. Um, has played in the Premier League before. And uh, he's got six months left. So it could be a decent signing. And then we've got Darren Randolph. Who, for me, looks like the most appealing option right now. Um, with a value of 1.3 million, I know he's going to be good, at least 71, 72 rated, and therefore would slot into my Premier League team once I'm in there, if I make it, which we all know, we probably will make it. Um, when Burrich goes back out on uh, back to Southampton after his loan here, he would be a good replacement. And then we've still got uh, Lang, the right back, who I might go back in for, and this was one of the most popular comments in the last episode. People want me to go for Berbatov. And apparently, he's been linked with Bournemouth in real life, which would be absolutely incredible. To see him come back to the Premier League, I would love it. He's still class. Um, the only issue I've got with Berbatov is, is 45000 per week. I don't think I can afford it. So, unless I sell some players, you know, McCoy is on his way out, possibly. I might free up enough, but I very much doubt it. We've, we've got 60000 left. And arguably, we need a right back and a goalkeeper more than a striker. So, Randolph, I think he's going to be my most probable player. I quite like the idea of signing Randolph. 20,000 per week as well. It's not too bad. So, let's try and sign him up for next season. Crucial first team player because obviously he will be in goal um, in the first team pretty much every game. I'm also going to go in for Lang. I think we can do this. I think we could do something here. Um, this guy's 71 rated, so it's pretty decent. We're going to go ahead and sign him up as a crucial first team player as well. So here we go, guys. This is the moment of truth. Are we going to sign Weidwald? Because he will be a better goalkeeper, argu arguably. Nope, he's declined it. But Randolph and Lang have accepted theirs. So there you go, that's that then. Weidwald will not be joining up with Bournemouth. See you later, mate. And um, they only want to spend 375 on McCoy. Do I do it, guys? Do I just take the hit? I, I think I do. We're not talking much money here, so we'll go ahead and accept the deal there. McCoy will go, and uh, we'll accept Randolph. Let's go ahead and get him into the side for next season. And I'm also going to do the same with Lang. It is pretty expensive, but they will come in handy, I assure you. They will come in handy next year. See, I'm looking at my budget here. I've only got four hours left of the window, but I can afford another player on about 20000 per week. And it... it it makes sense to do it. So the question is, is what type of player do I go for? Now that I've got my right back, I've got my goalkeeper, I've got good centre backs in place. I've got Tyrone Mings at left back. He's fine. Midfielders, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's really the only option for me now is to get like a brutal CDM because I've got wingers and I've got strikers. So yeah, I think I think I might have to go in for a, a CDM. Let's see if there's any options out there. Well, look at this. I found two players that I could potentially sign up for free right now and have the next season. One of them being Reading's, well, top midfielder, I want to say. One of their best midfielders. We've got Karachan here uh, from Turkey. He's got some incredible stats and he's my kind of player. The only downside is he's injury prone, but definitely a good option. I think he could be a very good player. The other one is Austin from Leeds. Um, I know this guy is an absolute brute he's he's tall he's strong he's got great stamina you can see there he's quick his aggression is high shot power oh man i've got such a dilemma on my hands and i don't know who to go with i, I think it's got to be karachan he's younger 
He will slot into my side, no problem. He's my kind of style of player, very quick on his feet, great passer, good stamina. He's kind of what I'm looking for as... Uh, I mean, Austin's 29, okay? So, oh, I just don't know. No, I'm going for Karachan, I I've decided. I'm going for Karachan. He's 15,000 per week. I can afford it. He will join up, I'm sure. Let's do it. There we go. It's done, guys. Boom. We've spent pretty much all our money. I don't want to spend any more in case, you know, players come at me with some uh, contract demands. But three new players joining up next year. A defender, a goalkeeper, a midfielder. And you could say I could, I could have done with another striker because you could never have enough strikers. But maybe that's what I'll spend my money on when we start next season. You know, we get a fresh budget. Maybe that's when I go for a backup striker to go with Wilson. But for now, I think we're good to go. There it is. There it is. It's worked. Jack Grealish has now started to grow. He's a 69 overall now. You, know, you remember what I did in the last episode or the episode before that? We sent him out on loan, brought him back straight away, and it seems to have worked. So I can confirm, guys, if one of your youngsters isn't growing like he should be, if you feel like he's just not growing at all, send him out for a short-term loan and bring him back a day later, and it will fix him. Whew, that's a relief. So we are level on points with Watford at the top and now we're playing against bottom of the league. So I'm really hoping I'm not going to embarrass myself in this match. I should be able to win this comfortably. And I've just seen the kits are kind of clashing, aren't they? I hope that's not going to be a problem. Let's go to the match and have a look. Ah, it should be all right. But anyway, yeah, they're bottom of the league. So it's top versus bottom. Should be able to thrash them. Oh, what a ball that is. Look at that. Too easy for Richie. Wilson's going to go through. He's going to score. Oh, for, for God's sake. I've got to stop saying that. I just need to go, hopefully I'll score, and then I will. Because every time I say he's going to score, I miss it. It's ridiculous. It's a good corner, though. Oh, hang on. Let's come out to Smith here. Smack it, son. Oh, ho, ho. imagine if that went in. That's more like it. Come on. Into Wilson. We'll roll it. Oh, ho, ho. finish it. Yes! There we go. We've got the goal, finally. Cheeky little chip shot from Wilson, but the pass from Richie was very nice indeed. Very unselfish. And a nice little ball roll and the chip. Perfection. Into Gosling. Little pass inside, maybe. Try again. Here's Arta on for Amati in the second half. What a ball that is. Gosling. Oh, not enough power on that one. Time for two more changes now. We've got Odegaard coming on on the right side of midfield and Cook in the middle. Oh, Odegaard with the best touch ever over to Grealish. Go on, Wilson. Get in the box, son. Close chip. It's not bad. Turn it. Hit it. Well, that was disappointing. Oh, no. You're kidding me. No. No. No, no, no. Over to Richie, come on. Oh, what? What the fuck? How can you let it go out like that? Come on, guys. This is ridiculous. How have I not won that? I was about to say, how have I lost that? That's how I feel. I feel like I've lost that game. How did I not win? Now, this game is huge. Brighton, third in the table right now. After that draw in the last game, I'm now two points off the top. So if I lose against Brighton, they're going to gain another three points on me. Oh, God, that's stressful. Look at it. And then all of a sudden, top two isn't really guaranteed, like I said in previous episodes. Which, of course, it's not really guaranteed, but it looks really likely. So this, this is a bit more stressful. I need to get three points in this game. Come on, Amati. Nice, powerful run. Get us going here into Wilson. Over to Richie. Go on, Wilson. Make that run. He's through. Come on, get there. Oh, man. It's just such a good tactic. It works most of the time, but that time... Oh, shit. Brighton knew it was coming, and now they're on the attack. Oh, well in, Cook. Loads of space for Wilson to run into, but no one's supporting me. Look at this. Come on. Over to Richie. Right, that's a good little ball, that. Come on. Oh, he just loses down on his pace here. Oh, oh. This is good. This is really good. Over to Fraser. Come on, son. Fuck! And there's half-time. Right, just get in the second half. Come on, boys. We can do this. 
Something isn't working. I, I don't know if it's the formation or whatever it is, but I'm going to change it up. Wilson will be up front with... I'm going to bring on Jones. I think that he will do some damage with Wilson once again. I'm going to put Richie at Cam. I think he'll do really well there. Cook, O'Kane, Amati. I'm going to change O'Kane and put in Arta and kind of move him a little bit like that. Um, to be honest, I think I want a more powerful player in the middle, so Marty will go there. And I'm going to bring on Francis as well. Come on, Arta. Come on. I need these three points. Over to... Oh, come on, Cook. Keep that in. Cross it in. Jones. Wilson. Oh, Jesus. It doesn't get much closer than that, guys. Ten minutes left now. Oh, oh it's opened up. Got to finish this. Why did I do that? Why did I tap it? Why didn't I just fucking smash it? It's all right. Might have another chance here. Come on, Richie. Over for Jones. Oh, that could be it. That could be it, guys. Oh, hang on. No, we've still got it. Come on, Wilson. Come on. Come on, son. Come on. Finesse that. No. No. That's it. Oh, that is just ridiculous. All of a sudden, it's not looking great. Four points behind Watford. Nah, mate. Only a seven-point gap between us and Brighton now. Nah, mate. It's not looking good at all. But I'll tell you what. Our goal difference is 24. We've only conceded 16 goals. So that's a positive. I just need to beat Watford in our next game. You know, when we come up against Watford in, I think it might be March in game, um, I will be able to beat them. And then hopefully by then I would have closed the gap a little bit more and then go top. That's that's the plan, okay? But we're 29 games in, guys, and that is how the table is looking. And don't forget, we still get instant promotion in second. So it's not all bad. Um, but thank you so much for watching once again. I really do appreciate all your support, guys. If you can leave a like rating and support this video, I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to leave your comments. I read every single one of them. And uh, I know I don't reply to all of them because that's insane. But um, I do appreciate every single one of you leaving comments. Um, follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. Links below. And I will see you in the next video.